Hello, um, I hope you stay healthy. Um, I am Song Min Kim from the Jagon Church in South Korea. I'm a little bit nervous because it's my first time to um, preach through the internet. Uh, I've been living in Bonn since the last year for my extended MEST program. But unfortunately, um, I cannot feel the beautiful spring of Germany. Yeah, and uh, that is the first time to um, to be in the Easter in another country. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so delicious and uh, funny. There is never in South Korea. As, as far as I know um, yeah but we can we can also spend our um, some quality time with my with our family or we've got more time to illuminate on the meaning of the passion week and the leisure election of Jesus Christ and today I'd like to share my reflection about the last word of Jesus Christ before his death. What do you think of Jesus? We normally think him as the redeemer or the Diophany of the world. But he has the aspect of human. Definitely um, Matthew, Mark, and Luke recorded um, last word before the, his death like this Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani or Father, into your hands I commit my spirit um, we 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 can know that these words kind of conversation between son and father. I think um, they um, they want to show the human aspect of Jesus, like the aspect of son who talk to his father but John John is a little bit special because he documented the last word as monologue um, the gospel of John chapter 19 and verse 30 it is finished John put emphasis on the divine aspect of Jesus Christ. We can also see the see this aspect in chapter one. Chapter one of the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. I guess he um, he saw the God Father, the Jesus Son, as one. Um, Easter. So so Easter has two meaning meanings to us. There are two things. Uh, there are two sides. Um, the first, the first one is Jesus who was suffered like the human. At the same time, the Jesus who resurrected in the power of God. Everyone more stress on one of these two aspects. 
For example, someone can highlight the human aspect of Jesus, like a friend of mine, to give me wisdom in my life. However, as John shows us, someone can lay stress on Jesus as our Christ, as our Lord. So, um, for this, someone can concentrate on li religious ceremonies or events for serving transcendent God. Both are natural and correct. But if we only choose one side, it could lead us to misunderstand Jesus. After we understanding both sides, we can experience his suffering as a human and his plan for our salvation. He was also afraid of pain, like us. At the same time, he completed his prophecy as divine God. If you've been looking at only one side so far, why don't you think about the other side this time? Let's pray together. Almighty God, we are stuck in the horrible situation. We are sick in body and also in mind. And uh, we want to hold someone responsible about this horrible situation. Please help us get together. Please help us keep praying for each other. We can only live in your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. And may God bless you.